Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, I've been actually asked a few times to do a video on how to create an image of Windows 11 to install on an unsupported machine. And you really don't have to do anything special because, uh, you know, a lot of people have been tweaking the image, the ISO, uh, to do so. And you just don't have to because in Windows 11, if you download the image from their web page, which is download Windows 11 here and the image, you select your Windows 11, it is capable of installing on unsupported hardware. It's just going to tell you while you're installing it that you might have some features that won't be working or deprecated or and that they're not going to offer, you know, official support. It's at your own risk and blah, blah, blah. But the image that Microsoft has on its website installs even on unsupported hardware. So if you're not, you know, up to eight generation or don't have TPM 2.0, it still installs. And uh, so you don't have to tweak the image. It, it doesn't matter. It, it will work uh, for the majority of people that want to install it. I've tried it a few times. And apart from just nagging you and telling you, well, you know, it's at your own risk, uh, it will work. So you don't have to do anything special. Um, the fact that it doesn't work is when you try to do it from Windows Update. Because uh, I've had a few people saying, well, you know, how do I do that? Because in Windows Update, when I go to my Windows Update, it says I'm not supported and that it doesn't work, and it's not going to give me anything. Uh, it just can't install because I don't have the minimum requirement. So uh, the page that I uh, was showing you is going to be, uh, the link is going to be in the description below. You just download the ISO from this page, and just put it on a USB thumb drive, um, and just boot from that. And if you want to boot uh, with UEFI, you can actually use a Rufus to create a bootable USB a UEFI USB key and install it. It's just going to work and you won't have to do anything special. It's just going to tell you a few times that, you know, it's at your own risk and that's it. So there's no need to tweak the image to uh, in order to install, uh, but you do have to do a clean install mm -hmm. using the image that Microsoft provides in order for you to be able to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.